is my review video of my 13 piece set Dale Earnhardt movie cars and 124 scale um, just got the replacement in yesterday of movie car number three it is the windshield wiper from September 7 1986 um, I did a tribute video of uh, of my Earnhardt collection for the 20 years that Dale's been gone um, wasn't able to do it on the 18th but I was able to do it uh, the past couple days and I did a video in my bedroom and as soon as I got done with the video and carrying the cars to my shelf here in the living room uh, car number three fell on the very top of the bum bundle, bundle that I was carrying and it took a hard hit on the floor it fell from the pile and it fell pretty good and um, the damage was a heavy extent and I had no choice but to find a replacement for it but the replacement came in and the box for it had everything in it including the lid the styrofoam lid and so now every car is perfectly mint condition in the set um, thankfully I had a, a person of uh, that I contact uh, had a, the same car listed on Marketplace and uh, went ahead and purchased it from them for a good price. That was very reasonable and I thank you. Um, so here we go. This is car number one. This is car number two. Uh, the championship car from uh, October 5th, 1980. Uh, this video is also going to be uploaded on YouTube as a uh, movie car uh, review so that's number one here's number two it's the only car out of the collection out of the set that does not have an opening trunk it only has got opening hood but all of them do got DIN numbers, very K uh, identification numbers uh, visible through the back windshield of each car. And this is not for sale. This is just me showing my movie car collection to you guys. Because uh, something happens to me that's going to get passed down to my wife. Her two favorites are, are right here. Uh, one should wipe her in the grass. That's grass in the grass. Um, this is car number five. Black and silver. number six uh, passing the grass is car number four car number seven and I checked the dens I do not have a door number There is a door number movie car out there. It's going to be a lot of money, but if my wife decides to sell my set, it's going to be a pretty penny. They're not going to be cheap. Because I want her to sell it as a set if she does sell it. Or hopefully me and her have kids and I could pass it down instead of having it go to another home. Because people nowadays are, are uh, they want handouts for this for these cars. And I'm not looking forward to somebody who's just gonna lowball. I don't believe in that. It's car number nine. It's car number ten.
Mr. Brickyard. This is car number 11. Starting in front. Car number 12, Daytona 500. I'm probably the only one who has and knows about car number 13. Car number 13 was only sold to Bass Pro Shop stores and not through NASCAR dealers. If you're able to find one, you have one that looks just like mine, hang on to it. Because if you do, it's going to be valuable. But I have a set through 13. And um, also, when you register the DIN on the Bass Pro Shop car, it actually, the when you register it, it comes up as a movie car in its registry. It doesn't have the uh, certificate card like the others do, but it's part of the set. Um, this is my movie car collection of Dale Earnhardt, all 124 scale. Uh, all of them are race wins except the Bass Pro Shop car. Um, I also want to thank the, the person who helped me out with my replacement of this one uh, yesterday. Because this one came in fresh yesterday from USPS. Um, I didn't mean to drop mine. It just, it was an accident. But if I were to do pictures of these, if I have company over... Or I just want to look at them just to look at them. I'm going to be the, doing it in the comfort of my living room instead of, of knowing of a dangerous place to where I know that if I carry one or carry multiple that I'm going to have to worry about dropping more than just one or just one, you know, because most of these are expensive. The most expensive ones are one, two, three, four, uh, five. Uh, some of these over here, and I know it could be possibility that those three in the back row are expensive. I know that one was expensive too, so if you come across that one, you know, you got to pay fair. Um, that's just that's just a thing, this hobby. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that just want handouts and they want a lowball. Well, uh if I were to, if my wife ever wants to sell these, she would have to find somebody that's going to pay what what it's actually worth and and have big boy pants on. But I just, hopefully I'm lucky enough that I could, I could just keep it in my family instead of just having to go from another home. Because I really don't want nobody else to have these, honestly. That's just how I feel. But uh, I appreciate the review. Um you watch you guys watching the review i should say um you guys can put comments below on my facebook post or um since it's going to be on youtube uh put comments below the uh the video on youtube here on, uh, on the youtube channel and um if you want to see anything else of mine you know just comment me let me know i'll do a review for you or if you got a question about um about a car uh, if you're looking for one, I wouldn't mind guiding you where to go to find one. Um, or you can also work a deal with me if you want to find one. Um, that's just that. But I appreciate it, and thank you. Have a great day.